my first three years in business, my niche was anyone that would freaking pay me. I was just tired of being broke. And honestly, I didn't even really pick a niche until I was already at five or $6,000 per month. And I just started noticing patterns on clients that I enjoyed working with, clients that got the best results, and clients that also paid me the most. And I started seeing these similarities overlapping. At this point, I've worked with hundreds of clients myself. Plus, I see insane data because we have almost 2,000 members inside of my community at the time of recording this. And I'm seeing time and time again what's working for beginners. So I'm going to share with you a couple niches that are working really well if you are offering go high level services and charging anywhere from $100 to $500 per month. I'm going to go behind the scenes and show you my high level account. I'll show you call recordings and how much volume these clients are actually doing inside of their account. I'm going to start by showing you two different clients and let you decide which one you think is going to benefit more from our go high level services. So this is client number one. This is their Google My Business profile. This is just some of the data that we have in the last 30 days. So they've gotten over 100 website visits and they've gotten over 62 calls directly from the Google My Business page. Now, again, that's not even counting the people that called from their website. And that's also not counting people from our different landing pages and, and so forth. So this is client A and this would be client B. And what we did here was we sent a database reactivation campaign. This is a roofing client. And we sent about 612 messages about 255 responded. We had about eight booked and they sold about three of those projects. Now, I know that they made over $10,000. I think they didn't mark one of them, but nonetheless, they still made over $10,000 in the very first week of us working together. But as you can see, there's only eight booked calls. So the volume is much lower. This is a roofing client. So the ticket price is much higher. So when you're looking at this client versus the first client that I showed you, which one do you think is going to use go high level more? If you thought it's going to be this second client, just because they made money, you would actually be wrong. Let me explain. Don't get me wrong. Offering high level services to these high high ticket business owners like kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling, roofing, basements, like all that stuff. It can work extremely, extremely well. And we've crushed it in that niche. In fact, I've grown my agency past $20,000 per month in a space like this. However, when you have a client that does more volume, they just use more of the automations. So for example, if we have 62 calls, that's 62 potential auto miss call text back messages that we can send, right? That's 62 potential automations that we can bring people into based on if the client answers the call, if they don't answer, that's appointment follow-ups that we can be giving to this same client and getting them to come back. So even though remodeling projects that might cost $30,000, $40,000 per project are amazing, they might be doing 15, 20 appointments per month versus this client who might be doing 15, 20 appointments in two or three days. And so because they're doing so much volume, they're using all the confirmations, right? They have way more customers. So now they can get more Google reviews. You can send the Google review campaign and everything that we do, lead follow-up, it becomes more powerful because now there's just more impressions. There's more people that we can send these messages to. And here's another example. Let's look at massage therapists. I Googled on average, how many clients does a massage therapist see? This article right here said that it was about eight to 10 per day. And then for a lot of therapists, it's probably between 20 to 30 a week. So let's say hypothetically that there are five massage therapists in a studio. And let's say all five of them are not seeing eight to 10 a day, but they're seeing five per day. That means they're doing 25 massages every single day in that studio. That's 25 customers that they have per day. When you reach out to them and when you do a database reactivation, you're not going to be sending that to 612 people. You're sending that to 6,000 people, to 16,000 people because their database is so big. They service so many customers. If you want everything imported into your account and just copy and paste everything that we've built with a click, you can now do that. It's working like crazy, not just for me, but we've proven that this works for people with all kinds of experience levels and backgrounds. In fact, Go High Level themselves rated us the number one course 
because of the results that we get from people and the support that we give. I'm gonna show you A to Z how to get clients, deliver results, grow your business, and then even hire employees to run it all for you. I'll even talk to you on Zoom and answer questions to make sure that you succeed. If you want all this for free, go to laptopceo.com or check the link in the description. Let's look at the next one. I Googled how many jobs can a plumber do per day? three to four would be a full day. So again, they have three to four customers every single day versus if you work with a roofer or a large scale company, they might only do four projects per month, five projects, six projects per month because they're just so big. So by working with a customer that does a lot of volume and they're seeing a lot of leads, they're seeing a lot of customers everything becomes extremely powerful. When you do your database reactivation campaign and you're going to their past customers right here, like a massage therapist, and you're texting all of them saying, hey, for existing customers, we're now offering 10% off, you're gonna get them such amazing results in the first two weeks. Look at gyms, look at chiropractors. How many people are in their database? thousands and sometimes tens and tens of thousands of people. Now I'm going to show you the back end of one of my clients who is a moving company. Now I'm going to have to blur some of this information because it is sensitive data on my client's side, but he got 272 calls in the past 30 days. As you can see here, past seven days, let's take a look. It's about 48 calls. So he's doing insane amounts of volume. Now think about all the times that they went to voicemail. Would he benefit from automatically sending them a voicemail and automatically texting each and individual customer? Yes, of course. And even when you use our tool here, I can link it up somewhere on this video, you'll see that the search volume is insane, meaning there's so many people that are looking for this service. I mean, literally a thousand people a month on average are looking for movers in Cleveland, not to mention all the other keywords that are down here as well. Now compare that to a niche where people do a small amount of projects like custom home building, right? How many homes is someone going to build? Well, it's not going to be four a day. It might be four per year. And you can Google something like custom home builder in Cleveland. And again, you can see all the businesses. They have way less reviews because they're just not bringing on that many clients. And the data also shows that if you type in custom home builder Cleveland, it only has about 10 per month. So yes, when you build a custom home, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's a lot of money that you're making them. However, if you're just selling them go high level services, I would not go into a custom home builder. Hey, I'm going to help you get automatic reviews from your past customers because they might only have four or five customers per year. So it's just not going to be that effective. They can text their customers themselves. It doesn't matter to them that much as well as a lead follow-up. I mean, they might get two leads a month, right? They might do two appointments a month. It doesn't matter to them to use all these different automations, even though, yes, technically one project, if you can help them get one lead and it converts to a customer, it could be worth hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then I even Googled how much does it cost to build a house on Forbes? And it does say that it can range anywhere from 42,000 to 900,000. I don't know what kind of house someone is building for 42, but these are extremely high ticket projects. So what I want you to do is take a look at this spreadsheet that we have. It's uh, linked down below inside of the free course. I think it's under uh, video number two. And you can see all the different Google My Business categories that we have. And we actually extracted all of them for you. So you can just go down and just Think to yourself, okay, what industry services a lot of different customers and can really benefit from automatic missed call text back? Who can benefit from appointment confirmations? Like if someone does 25 appointments a day, they have a full-time assistant that's just managing those appointments. So if you can help them just follow up with appointments and say, hey, we're excited to see you in 30 minutes. By the way, here's our address. And you can automatically text them that before the appointment. You can automatically confirm appointments. That's gonna be a huge help to that office and to that front desk person, like we talked about earlier under massage therapists. So as you can see here, I have some common niches like chiropractors, car dealerships, roofers, all that stuff, plumbers, med spas. But I want you to go down and just look at some of these niches. And honestly, don't overcomplicate this process so much. Too many times I see someone so hyper fixated. I, I need the perfect niche. No, I didn't pick my niche until I was already making a full time income. I was literally already traveling, living out of Airbnbs. And then I decided, you know what? 
let me focus on scaling my business. And that's going to be much easier if I have one specific niche. So go in, start reaching out to clients using any of my other videos that I have on the channel, and then decide what clients you want to work with, see which ones you get the best results for, see which clients you even enjoy speaking to, and then work with those. After you pick this niche, if you want to know how to get your first couple of clients, how to actually reach out to them, you can watch this video right here.